Well, as usual, the eyes of the mixed martial arts world are fixed upon Patty, the Batty Pimblet, when he competes. And anytime you're able to win when you're not at your best, as was the case in his win over Jared Gordon, that's a feather in your cap. Pimblet back on the horse tonight. Win. Ultimately, that's what it's all about. Patty Pimblet gets the job done. But listen to this arena. Listen to the reaction oh. that people give this young man when he steps from behind the curtain. This guy is a star. He has that star quality about him. But not only does he have that, he can fight. And ultimately, it's about winning fights. Patty Pimblet does that in spades. There are so many components to this Patty Pimblet package, the accent, the persona. But this is a very talented mixed martial artist out to prove as much yet again tonight. So here is the other worldly mixed martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib, but we love getting the opportunity to see Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbulla in his corner. And if Hasbulla didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Patty the Patty Pimbla. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, Herb Dean, third man Ready, in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready, go. Well, they say everybody loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Habib Nurmagomedov. Impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. Too easy, Habib Nurmagomedov gets the early takedown. Opposition knew it was coming, unable to stop it as usual. Well, he'll tell you. He'll tell you that he's going to take you down. And he has so many ways of getting to that takedown. He's as good as they come in terms of setting him up. And right away, he gets to fight exactly where he needs it to be. All right, feet on the hips here. Nice job staying offensive there as he lands a shot from the bottom. Excellent ground and pound there by Pimblett. Nice shot there by the champ. Matty Pimblett going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. And there you go again, half guard. 
lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Nice transition. All right, close guard now. Pimblets in half court. Guys, trying to get to the doors here. That Dars choke is tight. What is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, right into Mom. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. <clears throat> Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Nermako Meta. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Get the back. Get the 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Close guard. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Maddie Pimmel. Round two straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always right. reacting right. starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. That is a damaging kick that lands. Push kick there to the body. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. Lands a jab. He's going guillotine. Pressure. Two minutes have gone by. In the half guard. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Great defense by this fighter. Striking from every position lands a strike from the bottom. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Big right hand. Straight right, he misses. Well, he has really picked up the pace.
pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round two. Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Now he's going full mount. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Khabib's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Final seconds here of round two. And the horn sounds on round two. Great round. Listen to three deep breath into that nose. Out to that mouth. All right, perfect round. I need you to go out there and do more of that. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work that he previously did. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his victory. So Khabib Nurmagomedov at his methodical best tonight and gets another takedown right there. Habib is one of those guys that will tell you what he's going to do, and he will go and he will do it. And right now, that's being shown to be true. Because time and time again, he is securing takedowns on his opponent. Making all these shots count. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. Just over three minutes to go. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Nermago Meta. Nice shots landing from the top position. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Nurmago Menov going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. There it is, now he's going to mount. Pimblet's in half guard now. And right into side control. Ramago Medov's back in north-south. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Ramago Medov. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Right to the knee on belly. 20 seconds to go. All right, well, both uh, fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Working in half guard here, making the shots count. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. A lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. You ready to fight? You ready? 
All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when we get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. some separation. Good jab there by the champion. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Significantly swollen area. Pimblet getting peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble Fight defensively. Nermanko Medov's in half goal. Get the ball here. Seconds now to go in the round. Pimblet's eye is now swollen shut. They could actually stop this fight right now, given how bad it is. Clearly, the referee keeping a close eye on the fight. Ooh, nice. Massive shot from the top. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Patty Pimble. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out of this. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. All right, somewhat mercifully, that is the end of the round. The swelling around his eye is out of control. Cut man hustling in quickly, but I think they might stop this fight, DC. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. <laughs> Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. So an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition to side mount as he carries the guillotine. He's off. What submission defense on the split? That was a slick transition. Well, you really hope that damage like this doesn't stay with him throughout his mixed martial arts career, but I'd be okay with not seeing him take another head strike at this point. No, it's all. You could tell that the fight is done. It's on the ringside position or the corner to take a closer look and stop this fight. Nermago Medov's in half guard. All right, trying to pass here. As Wilbur Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. 
side control now. Nice defense. Pimlet's able to transition back to side control now. Not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. Oh, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Pimblet's back in full mount. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Pimblet's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Lands with the ground and pound. One minute to go in the fight. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Nermago Metal. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempts to get past his guard. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Oh, how about that? Strong reversal on the ground. This fight has been everything it was promised to be. Well, what a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you gotta think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 48-47. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle. All right, so judges' scorecards needed, not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column.